is up? Well, I decided to do a more, uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't know if you call it nature, natural vlog, I don't know what you want to call it, but anyway, so I decided to come out south of my hometown following the Sabinal River, I'm over here by uh, South. I was going to go north to Utopia because I had some work stuff to do, but apparently that did not. Uh, they forgot about it, so um, we rescheduled for next week. So, because um, maybe you would have gotten to see some water. If I was in the Savannah River in Utopia, I'd probably be in water right now, but I'm not. I'm south of Savannah where... Oh, you can see the dryness. The dryness is so bad. Look, look, look. It's everywhere. I mean, I can't believe it. Like, it's just so dry. South Texas. Anyway, well, I've been doing a lot of nothing. But yesterday, I completely failed in getting a, a recording footage because it was Easter. I was a little hung over. I did not, um, uh, Bo's wedding was fantastic, it was so much fun, I don't know if I made a video, oh, I did upload that video, it was crazy, it was madness, even the, I was so drunk, Tejano dubstep, <laughs> I thought that was funny too, but anyway, well, I'm just walking around now. Looking at all the overgrown everything because wow, it is really, really dry. Like, really dry. Anyway, so uh, this is one of my favorite trees uh, the cypress. I really like them. This is actually my next tattoo idea that you're looking at. And I, you know, I'm gonna walk closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about because my next tattoo idea I want to do on my foot and you know, I'm just so amazed by how their their root structure is just crazy ridiculous you know it starts out with this huge trunk and then just goes out and uh, I really like this particular pattern of the roots you know, because they're used to being anchored in you know uh, water water areas you know so I want to do that same trunk design this like on my foot with the root system or on my on my like calf area and go down to about about right here with my roots coming out you know so um, I just it's one of those things that's always resonated with me I love how tall and powerful they look you know, and, and they're just the idea or the the uh, symbolism for a river and uh, where there's water. You know, I, I just like it. They tower over everything. You know, Texas landscape is mesquite trees and mostly mesquite everywhere. You know, so whenever you see these huge trees, you're, you know you're close to a to a river or some type of creek that used to be there you know so it's kind of cool but I'm getting sidetracked so I came out here um, also to talk about my new little ideas I've got a new business idea and I don't you know I've been kind of having second thoughts about starting something new because I know if I start something new I'm going to want to push and of course I'm going to go right back into the scenario that had uh, me wanting to cut loose in the beginning which was to um, uh, focus on school you know so I since I'm doing school and studying I really have enjoyed my time these last couple of weeks you know having more free time than I usually am even though I'm not making as much money um, I'm I'm still really really excited the direction I'm going I think it's the right one 
um, with this research stuff, and I think I'm going to start doing my research. You know, so uh, there goes a guy in a four wheeler. But I'm gonna keep recording, recording till they somebody tells me to leave. But uh, you know, I was looking at. Um, a couple of new research ideas that where I was uh, talking about becoming like a you know I look at internships internships are you know you you commit to company they go do something you set something up it's kind of cool you know it's an internship it's all about learning it's about finding if that's the right job for you it's I like the ideas of internships the bad part is is where I live <laughs> You don't have that option. You know, you don't... The San Antonio is an hour away, which is the, the bad part about living where I live. You know, it's very peaceful, but the city is an hour away, solid drive. And you just kind of got to figure out, like, you know, if I want to do a business internship, I've got to go into San Antonio and fi try to find something. So instead of doing that, I, I'm going to be talking to some of my clients and family and friends and um, looking at trying to do these micro-internships. So, I want to do these micro-internships that are going to consist of me being there maybe for a month. Um, maybe longer. Depends on the industry. Depends on how much I feel that I need to learn. You know, and... and uh, I definitely want to do uh, wildlife management, the wildlife industry in general, which includes hunting, uh, conservation, uh, nonprofit, those areas of of, uh, of the wildlife industry. I definitely want to look at those. Um, I also want to look at uh, what are they called? Manufacturing and produce. You know. I, the manufacturing industry, I th I'm going to have a little trouble. I, I don't, because I don't know what I want to learn in the manufacturing industry. Kind of one of the areas I need to talk to somebody that's in there. But, you know, all else fails, I can go down to the valley and find something pretty cool. Um, this is going to be kind of a long vlog. I'm probably shooting for about 10 minutes. I'm at 7, some change, almost 8. So... Yeah, that's about it. That's about uh, what I'm thinking about. Um, definitely want to do... Um, I've, I'm pretty confident I know the retail end all the way down to inventory and management. Um, I'm just trying to brainstorm. I've got these ideas in my head, and uh, I think I talked about it before that, you know, I just kind of want to put some... Uh, I, I don't know what the term... What the, right terminology is because I don't know it's kind of a ouch I got a rock in my rock in my flop I think I just feel like solidifying some of these ideas to see if they're even valid if they're not to take them past the intellectual stage and and actually put them to good use to see if it's viable you know Industries today are looking for new products, new ideas, reinventing old ideas. So, I don't know. I'm going to try with... Uh, can you hear me? I'm so tired. I'm like walking uphill both ways. But, but yeah, I guess it's just all about uh, putting shit together. Yeah. The guy on a four-wheeler. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm getting out of here. Because it's hot. But, no, I just wanted to spend some time and talk about that. But on, I guess for reality's sake, I'm looking at this in a way that can help small businesses, is, is what I'm thinking. You know, I... <laughs> I'd love to 
slam that idea that just grabs that corporate network that or that corporate use that um, leads me to something huge but uh, I don't even know if my ideas will work in that scale so the best way to do them is to try them in a in a smaller scale which brings me back to the small business oh my FJ but uh I think that's about it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. We've gotten through so many hiccups with software and all this other crap. Like, it's ridiculous crazy. I have a lot of fun. Oh, it's hot. Definitely riding with AC on on the way back because I'm a badass. Sorry. But, uh, let's get that going. Um, but no, you know, I, um, <laughs> covered up the camera. I've gotten to several different stages of my life, you know, and, and, uh, I really feel confident that I've, you know, gone through e each of these stages as complete as I could. And this one, I'm really excited for, but I'm kind of puzzled on how to do it. Mainly because, you know, doing an internship, uh, you know, it's... I know the kind of work that needs to be done, but I've got to make that experience valid for me. Um, because overall, it's, it's research into my future, I guess you could say. And... Uh, as crazy it may seem, I really want to focus on the administrative clerical uh, areas of these industries. Uh, not so much on the, the operations or what they're doing or trying to think about new methods. Um, I want to look at the administration and see if we can't make those parts of the business run smoother, run faster, uh, run cheaper, you know. Uh, QuickBooks does a fantastic job, but there's some limitations with QuickBooks, and uh, you've really got to know your your. You've really got to be like a QuickBooks guru to get to um, to figure out what you actually need to do, and uh, to get to solve your problems. And you know, I've seen several companies that'll use another piece of software to do it you know a QuickBooks is great for just you know bookkeeping and and tracking uh, you know your day-to-day -day business operations you know financially but what about non-financial information that's what um, uh, that's kind of what what I'm thinking about is the what about all the non-financial data that's acquired over a, a a life of a business, you know, over one month, uh, six months, quarterly, annually. Um, those are the kind of uh, questions that I'm asking, you know, because, uh, you know, technology is there to make things easier. It's there to help us. Um, I'm glad that I have the gift that to understand complex things and uh, lots of patience and, and, uh, I'm just happy that uh, I can do all this stuff and that, you know, my family and, and friends and, and everybody are, are supporting me in what I do, you know, especially my friends in Austin. You know, I feel so bad, you know, because I've been, you know, at it for about seven years and, and I just can't, uh, it was really hard for me to walk away from. I tried to do it last year and it failed. I mean, I just wasn't ready. Like, I just, I still had that itch and, and, uh, because I didn't know what direction I wanted and as over the year last year I kept thinking about what I wanted to do what future I wanted to do um, and and it came to me you know over time over things that I started to notice things that um, I really thought that could you know benefit me or benefit my friends and family and and uh, you know and that's my focus you know I these times are getting more and more crazy with, uh, you know, we don't know what the economy's doing. There's yeah, countless, countless 
an infinite number of political uh, elements that that keep our economy rolling, you know, both personal related and for the good of the people, you know, so it's just kind of uh, this brainstorming thing idea that I've had, but anyway, that's about all I have today, uh, and um, I, uh, sorry, I got a text message, I was reading my text message. But anyway, um, if there's anything, um, I know don't, not too many people view these videos, but I'm going to start looking at circulating them a, a little bit more, trying to get them in different places. Um, because I, I do think that, you know, we need to create a community that's going to be tech friendly. Uh, for small business, especially rural areas, you know, I, I, so many developments and so many software developments are are targeted at you know cities and metros and traditional business. And you look at all your rural uh, business, you know, and and look at their running and and you know they're years behind the curve mainly because of the price. You know, the price invested for a small business, especially something that's been run by you know, just a family, you know, a, a husband and wife or, a, you know, the family members, you know, less than five family members. It's hard to, to justify a cost for spending, you know, a couple thousand dollars on, on the labor and the uh, software required to migrate your business to become uh, technology friendly. So, but... I uh, will probably be posting this on my Red Toy CS vlog as well, since this is kind of work-related. So, um, but you'll see that on there somewhere. I'll probably put a link down there. My uh, Red Toy CS site will be over. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a makeover with it, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, but other than that, I'll talk about that more tomorrow. Uh, didn't make a video yesterday, so I'm going to call this one days 24 and 25. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, and that's about it. Vita is almost over. Oh, my God. Really? Wow. All right, latest.